Hi there, this is Judy with Paper Palm Tree, and this is the card I have for you today. I um, saw this card done by Dawn Stamping Thoughts and fell in love with it. Um, I did see once I started looking at the four ounce cups that uh, there are lots of people that have done variations of this and I just wanted to show you what I've done with it. So let me show you what I, I've used with this. This stands up and I know it's hard for the camera to see but it stands up and the cup sits right down into the little um, slot that's created. So let me share with you what I've done to get this card. So I've used a piece of lemon lime twist and this is cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and we're going to score that. And the stamp set um, is lemon zest, and this is in our annual catalog. And this I've used the um, the sliced wedge there, and then life is short, and live it with zest. And I've created my own um, paper there with this. So, I think it's really cute, and when you open it up, it has a place where you can write your notes on it. So, um, that's the base of the card, and then I've got it, just a piece of Whisper White for the, the two um, little notes. So, for this cup, this is a four-ounce mm, espresso cup, I think I saw, um, and it comes with a lid and isn't it adorable you can put um, lots of goodies in there or you know I was even thinking you could put uh, one of those individual Starbucks coffee um, instant things uh, in there for but all kinds of gifts could go in there a little something something so so cute um, so on this uh, because the curvature of the cup I have created a template for myself and I just rolled you know rolled it you know how you do. <laughs> you just roll it to create its temple, but it's it's got a little bit of curve to it so that it can go around um, the outside of that cup. So for the um, for the sentiments on there, I have used a designer series paper, a whole lot of lo lovely, and this is um, it's on the back of the little uh, peaches or or peaches, yeah. Um, and it's got a deeper yellow in it, but I needed something to go with my um, my lemons, and I didn't have a lemon. I don't have the uh, anything else lemon. This is what I had that I could use. So I've used two punches of one and a half inch, and that's for the outside of this, and then one and a half inch punch for the top over the cup, and then this piece. Okay, so the last piece I used, um, I used a piece of the glossy paper, but on, on this next one, I'm going to do just the Whisper White. And this is cut at five inches by two inches. And that's how I'm going to create this um, panel. I, I don't know what to call that. I guess it's a panel. I'm going to create the panel with that. So, all right, so let's get started with uh, stamping. So the ink I will be using today are the are the uh, Daffodil Delight, Daffodil Delight, and the Hello Honey. And the Daffodil Delight, I'm doing the the lemon slices with that. So let me open the, up the ink, and with this, I'm just going to do some random stamping. Get a sheet of paper out. good. Let that dry. And uh, next will be the Hello Honey. And this is what I'll be doing the sentiments in. So let me pull that off. Life is short. Life's short. And I'm going to punch this with a circle punch on it, so I'm going to 
make sure it goes high enough that I can get it not so there we go and I'll do this one over here Alright, so now we're ready to score the base of the card. So I'm going to take um, my lemon lime twist in the long side at the top and I'm going to score it four and a quarter. And we get that a fold. Alright, so next I need to get out my trimmer. I'm going to line the right side of the cardstock on the one inch. On this uh, Stampin' Up! trimmer, it is uh, marked over, you know, to the right side of that. So line that up at one, and you're going to take the score blade, and you're going to put this at... six. A two and a fourth. Okay, then I'm going to flip this over and I want this line, the left hand side of the cardstock, to be at three. Another cut down to six. Okay, and I'm going to use my score blade on the trimmer and I'm going to score it at the base of where those two cuts are. Right. There. Okay, so that that is where you're going to fold your card for the um, cup to sit in. So it's like that. It has a, a two inch by one and, hmm, do I have it down? Um, one and three fourths down. And that gives a nice little tight um, place for that cu cup to sit in, just like that. So I hope that makes sense. All right, so we'll, to put the card together, I'm going to use some adhesive and put on the lemons to the front. I just kind of center it down below that um, opening for the cup. And for these two pieces, I'm going to put on the uh, sentiments. Right there. Right there. And for the piece that I've cut for the cup. So this is what the cup looks like. Um, they come very inexpensive. I think they were less than five dollars for like 50. And you do have to purchase the lid separately, but it's still very affordable. Um, and if you're doing multiples, this is, um, it's a, you can still get these fairly cheap. Put that top on there. Like that. Isn't that cute? 
Okay, so to put this on the cup, I'm going to use a little stronger adhesive than, um, than my snail. I'm going to use um, some tear tape. And I just put um, close to the edge on both ends of the, uh, the cup wrap. Like that. All right, so then you just wrap your um, cup wrap around the cup, and it goes on like that. So the last thing I'm going to do is take um, some adhesive and last thing to the cup. Anyway, I'm going to put some um, glue dot, a glue dot, right there at the edge. Right there. And for these, I'm going to put these up on dimensionals. little corner put that right there and okay so there's our card and I think this is adorable I'm going to use this little idea for a lot I think with the cups you get like maybe 50 in a, in a um, container. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, if you'd hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, subscribe to my channel. And check out my um, website, paperpalmtree.com. And at the top of the blog, there's a, a button that says shop. that has an arrow pointing to it. And um, that will take you to the Stampin' Up! site that you can purchase all of these um, items. So I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, bye.